Hey y'all, how we doing today? I just wanted to give y'all an update and let you know that unfortunately I did not win the election, but I'm very proud of the grassroots campaign that we ran. And I'm proud to say that we never took a dime from corporations, lobbyists, or PACs in this election, just like the previous election that I had. And I'm very happy and thank you so much to all the volunteers that helped me in this campaign, whether it was knocking on doors or holding signs at the polling locations or donations. I really appreciate all of it. And, uh, you know, I always wanted representation here in Little Rock. We need younger representation, and I still stand by that. We still need people that are going to show up for their communities and make a difference and get people out to vote. And that's exactly what we did in this election is we got more people out to vote. And that was my ultimate goal here. Of course, I also want to see rep younger representation in Little Rock. I believe that we need uh, more representation for the younger generations. I believe we also need more representation when it comes to the LGBTQ community. I would have been the first openly gay man to ever serve in the Arkansas State Legislature, so that's still another milestone to achieve. And we do have some, you know, openly gay candidates that are running, men, and I will definitely support them in their elections. And um, we have a lot of progress to make. We have so many ballot measures on the ballot this year, and I'm so excited. I've been gathering signatures to get abortion rights on the ballot here in Arkansas. We also have a medical marijuana initiative. We have an educational reform initiative to combat some of the things and learns. We have a FOIA ballot measure. We have so many ballot measures going on right now and I'm so excited for it because I know that it's gonna get people out to vote in November and that's so important. We also have the t uh, initiative to take the taxes off feminine hygiene products and that's another important one so much hope i have so much hope for arkansas and that's why i ran in the first place i want to get more younger people out to vote and as we saw in previous elections the majority of people that have voted were older and we need to get young people out to vote if we're ever going to make progress in the state i know that the ballot measures are, do are going to do that but we you know i really wanted to try to get more out in the primaries as well because we have had so many judicial elections on the ballot and I'm very proud to say that our election in particular, District 77, had the highest turnout out of all the state house races. And I'm, you know, I'm so excited and proud to say that. <laughs> and um, I did have a talk with my opponent after the election. I congratulated him on his victory. And he said that I, you know, put a lot of hard work in and, you know, thanked me for reaching out to him. He did call me today saying, don't forget to put you know, get all your yard signs. I'm like, well, I gotta work. I would have done it yesterday, <laughs> but I'm about to go to work again. So it'll be tomorrow before that happens. But anyways, um, just wanted to come on here and thank everybody for all of their hard work in this campaign. I can't say thank you enough for everything that everybody's done. It means the world to me. I had people text banking, making phone calls. You know, my, my friend Samantha, my campaign manager, I wanna thank her so much for dedicating all her time that she put into this while going to school full time for nursing. I'm very happy. She was my my best friends in high school. And we did this thing. We wanted to bring representation for millennials here in Arkansas, and we can still do that in November. We have so many young people running for office. That was another goal of mine was to get more young people inspired to run for office and to let them know that it is possible for someone working full-time to run for office at the same time when they're in their early age in life. I'm, I'm 30 years old. This is my second time running. My first time running, I was 28. And yes, it is possible to run for office. It does take a lot. It's very time-consuming, but it's doable, especially when you have amazing people in your corner like I had. And I can't thank I, th I can't thank everybody enough for all their support. And this is not the end either. I don't know exactly what the next chapter holds for me, but you all know already. I'm very passionate about politics. My family's even told me, and they're Republicans. My grandparents told me how proud they am for, for how proud they are of me for running for office, and that means a lot to me. And I want to I want to still get more people involved. And so I will, I will definitely stay involved. First thing first, I am an activist. That's how I became involved. I'm sure many of you know my story. But first thing first, I am an activist. But I believe that if you can 
be an activist and make change through politics. It's got to come down to policy, and we have to make policy that helps working class people. And that's what Arkansas is, is working class people. And I know that we can do it. It's just going to take a lot of work. But just keep in mind, it is doable. We can do it. If we come together, we can make change here in Arkansas. Y'all have a good day. Thank you so much again.